Okay, I'm going to show you a real time saver if um, primarily we're going to use this probably if we have a listing that is on the market as a rental and is on the market as a sale. Um, we don't have them that often, but if we do, we'll probably use this. And then sometimes there's a significant number of changes that we need to make to a listing. Um, so we're actually going to pull it out or withdraw it or maybe it expired on us. Um, but we've relisted the property or we're re-inputting it in. And instead of going through the entire re-input process, there actually is a way that you can copy a listing that we've put in in the past and have a brand new um, listing number assigned to it and go through and put in the new details that we need to put in. But let's go to Keystone. I'm logged on to Keystone. I'm in MRIS. And so if you need to know how to log on to that, watch the video. I'm going to come down here to the bottom left and I'm going to do add or update listings. And then I'm going to do search for listings. And what I want to do is I want to find our old criteria. I want to find our old listing that we had. And I'm going to hit 11777 for my listing agent ID. And then I'm going to just put in whatever. If I knew an old listing number, that's fine. If I know the house number, uh, I can do that. And um, street name with an asterisk at the end definitely that'll work and then hit search I did get a property and then I have the option here it says edit it says print or there's a copy one over here on the left and at this point I'm gonna hit the copy one and that what that's gonna do is gonna autofill a ton of that information into a new listing that I can go through and just make the minor edits that I need to but I don't need to re-input the bulk of all that information so that'll be a huge time saver for you that's how you copy a listing in MRIS in Keystone and uh, yeah like I said that should be a gigantic time saver for you if we do have the opportunity to be able to use that